Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. As many of you know, uh, recently Adobe added a new feature to Photoshop's Adobe Camera Raw called Super Resolution. They say that that feature is going to be coming to Lightroom, but it's still not here. And I've been inundated with emails from people asking me how they could have an image in Lightroom but send it over to Adobe Camera Raw to use Super Resolution and get it back into Lightroom. Well, the short answer is there's no easy way, but there is a way and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, you may be thinking, now for example, first of all, I have this image here. I cropped it a lot. So this is a good candidate for Super Resolution because what Super Resolution will do, it will give you double the length and double the width, which really quadruples the resolution of the image. So. This is a good candidate to send over to Super Resolution. Unfortunately, if I just right click right in the image and I go down to Edit In and I go to Adobe Photoshop, it will send the image into Photoshop and you'll see it's going to do that. But it opens up it up into Photoshop proper, meaning not Adobe Camera Raw. And there's no way to have it open up directly into Adobe Camera Raw from Lightroom. Now there used to be several years ago, I think in um, CS6, which a really older version of Photoshop, one was able to open a raw file directly from Lightroom into Adobe Camera Raw. You cannot do that any longer. Now you may be thinking, well, you could go up to filter and down to camera raw filter, and that will get the image into camera raw. But unfortunately, super resolution isn't here. If you right click on the image, you could see that there's no enhanced detail or nothing here for detail so you can't do it there's just no way there now i'll cancel out of this and then i'll get rid of this and we won't save it now i know that several of you that are a little bit more advanced maybe in photoshop are saying well you could do that with a smart object well the problem is that enhanced feature still isn't there and super resolution is inside of enhance and I'll just prove it to you. We'll go down to or I'll right click on the image, we'll go down to edit in and we'll go all the way down to open as a smart object in Photoshop. And it will now take the image and it will open it up just like it did before into Photoshop. But there's a little trick actually to get it into Adobe Camera Raw from here. Just double click right on the thumbnail when you have a smart object and it will open it up directly into Adobe Camera Raw. But the same thing, if you right click on it, there's no option there for uh, enhanced super resolution, nothing like that. So we'll cancel out of this, we'll cancel out of this, and let me show you the workaround. Now, it's not great, I'm not claiming that this is the best way in the world, but this will work. So I have this raw file, again, I cropped it heavily. I'm done editing it, I just wanna send it to super resolution. To do that, what you should do is right click right on the image itself and then go down to, on my Mac, it's show in Finder. Um, on a PC, it's probably show in File Explorer, something like that. Someone in the comments could say what it is on a Windows computer. When I do that, a Finder window will open up. If you do that on a PC, a File Explorer window will open up and it brings me right to that image. So there's the image right there. Now. I have my Mac set up so that if I double click on this to open it, it will open up directly into Photoshop. If your computer isn't set up like that, you may have to open Photoshop and then drag this image into Photoshop. Whatever you need to do to get this image to open up into Photoshop. And because it's a RAW file and I'm opening it up outside of Lightroom into Photoshop, it will open up directly into Adobe Camera Raw. So we'll do that. Now it's directly in Adobe Camera Raw. I need, now could right click on it and you can see how the menu is different. We go down to Enhance and Enhance wasn't there before and Super Resolution is right there and we'll click on Enhance and it's gonna take a second to create this new DNG file, this Super Resolution file that will be twice the length and twice the width. Uh, the original is 8.5 megapixels and once it's done, you'll see it down here in the left hand side. There it is. And now this new one is 33.8 megapixels. All right, whoop de doo right? Okay, we're gonna click done. We're just done, that's all we're gonna do. All right, we could close down Photoshop. Now this super resolution image is now in that same folder, it's right here, okay? 
but it's not in Lightroom. All right, close down your Finder window or your File Explorer window. Go to your Library module of Lightroom. Go to that folder. We're in the folder. Just right click right on the folder and go down to Synchronize Folder. And you'll see Import New Photos. It sees that that photo is in that folder. You could click that. If you want to go through the import dialog, you could click that too, but I don't. And you could scan for metadata updates. It'll just scan this folder for metadata updates and add them or update the images if there is a metadata update. We'll click Synchronize. And you'll see that it will bring you up here to the top into the previous import catalog, but that's the image. You could go down to the original folder and you could see that we now have two of those images. We'll click on this one. This one is 7,117 by 4,750 megapixels. That's our enhanced image, it says right there. And there's our original image. So there's my clunky workaround to use super resolution in Photoshop from Lightroom. I hope that made sense the way I explained it, why you just can't send a RAW file directly into Adobe Camera Raw to use super resolution. Hopefully, uh, in uh, an update to Lightroom very soon, they will do as they promised and add super resolution to Lightroom Classic. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.